Hey everyone and welcome to another late mix up build videos that are great for your enjoyment. Today's build is using the 12 axe horn switch axe with a build that focuses primarily on large heavy hitting attacks that when combined with a power file that the weapon possesses, you'll be able to pump out large damage upon weak points and also make the set a very viable speedrunning build with plenty of optimizations available for you to expand on for its pure and sheer strengths. I call this build the Blitzkrieg set as it really does pack a punch. Now this weapon can only be gotten from the Kobe Tower event, but it's definitely worth getting as it gives you at least around plus 20 in defense, which I find is here and there viable and great for switch axes, as you will most likely take a lot of damage when being up front against monsters. Of course, you don't have to go get this specific weapon, as alternatively, the Axe of Demons is available to gain as well, which offers the same stats, etc, but no extra defense. So, as the build now generally focuses on raw damage, you're going to be rolling with the meta skills that work for you, like Handicraft, Maximum Might, Winter Exploit, non elemental Boost, etc. However, at the same time, we're also running these skills to negate the minus affinity, that is pretty much minus 30 affinity that weapon holds. Now, the fact that the affinity has on weapon isn't so bad since the negative effect is only such a small percentage to our damage and can be easily negated with just Weakness Exploit on its own. However, Weakness Exploit is only effective on weak points. And while most of the time we will be focusing around those areas for max damage, it won't always be the case for us. So that is why I also fit in Maximum Might and Critical Eye, which reduces it down to generally zero and generally makes room for Weakness Exploit to really push out the damage for you. For the weapon, I also augmented it to have a health regen, so I can stay in the fights longer and produce more damage with my uptime being at a all-time high. This would then leave you with a second augmentation slot for you to generally fit in anything you want, like affinity, attack, slot, or defense. I would recommend affinity in this case to get rid of the 10% of the minus affinity, and then with your critical eye and maximum might, it should leave you with, a, if I calculate my mouse right, 10% free affinity, not including your weak exploit in this build. So overall, it would give you 60% if you went with that, uh, that alternative option. But anyways, so here are the general following skills, and like always, you can always change them to your own liking. So firstly, I have Handicraft 5 at max, so I can reach White Sharpness, and also allow me to do more damage in the outrun. And then I have Critical Eye 3 for the 10% Affinity. This will work for negating the minus Affinity along with Maximum Might, so you can have clear and sharp damage at all times. Next, I've added Weakness Exploit 3 for that extra damage upon weak points. Agitated 2 for the small boost in attack and affinity, which is always useful against any monster. Evade Extended 2 for the extra back hop or back jump spacing, which is honestly a really great skill for the Switch Axe, as when you're in your sword mode most times, you won't have enough time to put your weapon away, or generally dodge. So having this skill will come in handy for short unexpected moments. Next, I then added in Maximum Might 2 for that extra 20% affinity, which will most likely go towards the minus affinity for our weapon. And lastly, Non Elemental Boost to severely increase our weapon base value by at least 90. That's, I guess that's how much I calculated by. I, I might be wrong, so generally look at it, but it increases it by quite a lot, a very large threshold. Overall, this will give you an attack value of 938, defense of 458, and quite a high damaging upkeep if you can manage your sword mode efficiently. Now your attack value that can be easily increased by drinking demon drugs, mega demon drugs or even canteen and generally you can actually hit 1000 if you're that type of person that likes very large numbers and very large overall damage. So the set will allow you to pull off some really great damage against monsters that have easy to reach weak points as going to sword mode has quite a reach and a deadly combo one time right on a monster. While staying in the axe mode can also allow you to flow your damage into either a strong uppercut slash, which usually nets me around 90 plus damage if it's on a weak point, or a swing cutting move. I, I, I don't really know the proper name for it. That I believe that it's I believe it's more a circle circle and it's kind of like a left swing, right swing, left swing that uses your stamina up. I know for a fact that if you can time that properly, you can do that and then press R2 and that'll form it into your sword mode but it will form it into a kind of a very powerful combo move that I highly recommend that you use, but don't overdo it because it's not something that you can always land properly on the monster. Especially if the monster you're facing is one that is very agile, such as Nergiante or Udagawon or even Teostra. Now usually when I engage with a monster, I want to get my damage flow going as quickly and efficiently as possible. 
So I first put on the Rock City Mantle to help with negating some of the damage, but allow me to quickly start off by doing either a strong uppercut slash within the axe mode, as this will give you a strong start for damage. Or you can do a basic attack into a sword mode switch, while the monster does his roar. It's, I say it's kind of up to you how you want to pace the flow of battle. But for me personally, I find that if you just move in quick, hit hard, hit fast, you can put in a lot of damage there and then, and waste no time. Because the thing with the switch axe is that you've got to stick to a monster if you want to do a lot of damage. Now, this will allow you to move in fast, and generally allow you to do large damage straight away. So basically, you just want to get straight to points, like I said. Now, since this weapon has a power file, this means the weapon will gain more damage when it's active in the sword mode, which you want to be in as much as possible, as not only will it amplify your base damage, but your sharpness multiplier will play effect in this as well, as well as doing damage to your monster's weak points. Basically, you want to start off strong and quick and change your attacks, so no matter what happens or what you do, you'll always be doing damage to a monster. That's why you have to learn when to go into your charge sword mode and when to switch back to your switch axe mode, and vice versa. As both of these will give you a strong damage, but you don't want to be relying on just one mode throughout the whole entire fight. Learn how to switch between each mode, and that's where most of your damage will be coming from, and also just stick against the monster. This is also why you have evade extended the build as well, as once you master the ability to conserve your weapon's charge form, you'll be able to dance around the monster gracefully, and thus damage uptime will always stay high, and most likely cause the monster to trip or limp away, depending on how much damage you put out, and depending on how aware you are of your surroundings. If a monster might do a major move, dodge. Don't stick around and keep damaging, just dodge. And if you can dodge it perfectly, that means you'll be able to learn how to dodge a monster's roar. And if you dodge a monster's roar, more damage, more uptime, quicker runs, better speed runs for you. And there you have it, a solid switch axe build that will allow you to abuse a hefty amount of damage and won't let you down doing so. If you're looking for a switch axe build for just damage, then generally not look further because this build here is one that you can use for generally any switch axes you have. But this is one that's just designed around the Tower of Horn switch axe, or more better off, the Diablo switch axe because they have very high roar and it's always best to work into it. Now, like always, if you enjoy the content, then do leave a like, a sub, and also do press the bell to stay always updated to when I do upload, as I would appreciate it a lot if you do. Once again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.